Hello students, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will be doing different classification of computer networks based on their size. Now, based on the size of a network, the network can either be classified as a personal area network, a local area network, a metropolitan area network or a wide area network. So, we will be studying about all of these. In today's lecture, we will be seeing two types of classification which is the personal area network and the local area network. So, starting with the personal area network, as the name suggests, personal means for a single person. Okay, so this is a network that is developed for the benefit of a single person. Now, what are the common example of such a network? See, whenever you have a computer and you connect that computer, say wirelessly or wired or through a wired medium or through cable wires with its peripherals. Now, these peripherals can be a keyboard it can be a mouse it can be speakers so whenever a computer is connected wirelessly or using wires through its you uh, to its peripherals it forms a single network okay so uh, this is a small network that is used for the benefit of a single person and that is why it forms a personal area network now when these devices communicate with each other they form a network which is connected to exchange information okay now another example of a personal area network is your car connected with your mobile phone via bluetooth so bluetooth technology is a very important technology when it comes to personal area network because most of the personal area networks nowadays uh, make use of this bluetooth technology when wireless communication is involved so if computer is connected with its peripherals through uh, bluetooth then it will be a wireless network otherwise it can be a wired network similarly when your wireless headphones are connected to uh, say tv or to your pc then also a uh, bluetooth is being used and this is again a wireless personal area network okay so each of the networks that we will be studying will be either wired or wireless that does not matter but the important categorization is or the difference between uh, main difference between these networks would be the range of communication or the size the area that they expand okay so for a personal area network the range of communication is a few meters Okay, so uh, your personal devices, maybe your pacemakers or your hearing aids which are connected, which communicate with a small uh, kind of user based remote also, their range is up to a few meters only. This is an important categorization or a distinction from other networks that we will be studying. Now coming to local area networks or LANs. LANs are the most widely used kind of networks these days because the range of communication for a LAN is a single building. Now this single building can either be your own room, it can be your labs, it can be your school or it can also be a single campus building or a campus that expands few hundred of meters okay so it can be a room it can be a lab it can be a school it can be uh, your campus also now the range of communication for this LAN generally varies from say 10 meter to hundreds to five hundreds or even one kilometer okay so LAN expand a wider area as compared to personal area networks and the most common example of LAN is as I said if you have multiple devices connected uh, in in a area of your room then it also it is also forming a LAN where if you have a router you are you can be wirelessly connected uh, you can wirelessly connect your mobile phones and printers with Wi-Fi printer technology or you can also connect through cables your computers your laptops and other devices through the uh, to the router so uh, in labs also school labs or college labs multiple computers are connected to the same internet connection 
and they are not only connected to the internet but among themselves also they communicate so they that forms a larger network but still it is a local area network because the range of communication is from uh, say 10 meter to 1 kilometer if this is the range in which all the devices are present and communicating it generally is a local area network then just like a personal area network the local area network can also be wired or wireless if all the devices are connected through cables physical cables twisted pair cable or fiber optic cables or even coaxial cables then it is a wired network otherwise if they are communicating wirelessly now in case of local area network wireless communication over a very short distance can be possible through bluetooth but otherwise wireless communication will be possible through other forms of waves and signals that travel through air okay now uh, for wireless LAN or as you know it as most commonly Wi-Fi the IEEE standard is IEEE 802.11 so uh, the organ this is a standard name for Wi-Fi that you use in your homes nowadays very frequently in your colleges in your personal and professional lives so Wi-Fi is wireless LAN and the official standard name for it is IEEE 802.11 okay and its speed of internet the speed of connectivity exchanging information for a wireless LAN is generally uh, up till few hundreds of uh, mbps so to it is generally varying from 10 to 100 mbps where mbps stands for megabits per second okay megabits per second which means 10 raised to power 6 bits per second 1 mbps is equal to 10 to the power 6 uh, bps okay so 1 mbps is equal to this so if if you have a wireless LAN generally the speed will vary from 10 to hundreds of mbps okay so it can be 70 mbps it can be 200 mbps it depends on your connectivity now ethernet is an example of wired LAN okay and it is the most common example of wired LAN which was given the standard name IEEE 802.3 so these two names you need to remember for your exams also and ethernet is uh, is formed when multiple different devices use the ethernet protocol and are connected using ethernet cables okay now uh, one important point that you must remember is that in a local area network the uh, topologies of the network can vary so what is a topology topology is basically the structure of uh, structure of the network you can say this uh, organization of different devices in a network okay so all the devices can either be connected via a common cable which is generally known as the bus topology and uh, all the devices can also be connected in a form of a ring where all these devices which i am showing through these small arrows these devices are connected together to form a ring this is known as a ring topology so different kinds of lands may have different kinds of topology or different kinds of structures so uh, but irrespective of their topology they will uh, if they are expanding a area an area between 10 meter to 1 kilometer they will form a LAN so we will study in detail about topology in the upcoming videos also but before that you must understand the concept of virtual LANs also so sometimes it it might happen it might be the case that an organization has a, uh, has developed or has set up a local area network in its building but within that building if all of these are different nodes that are present in that local area network 
suppose within all these nodes which are forming the local area network there is also a sub categorization say the nodes that are present here which i am marking with red belong to the computer department whereas the nodes which are present or marked uh, here with the blue circle are belonging to the maths department so the organization might want to set up an internal network between all the nodes of the computer department and a sub network between all the nodes of the maths department so instead of setting up two different lands what it does it uh, the organization might divide the existing lan such that uh, two virtual lans will be developed so virtual means something that is not existing in physical form physically there is a single lan but they are connected in a manner such that uh, if somebody wants to communicate only with the devices of the computer department then the virtual lan for the computer department can be used such that uh, the messages between this virtual lan will not be sent or shared or uh, driven through other devices of the maths department and same goes for the other department also so when we are not physically dividing the network but we are virtually or logically dividing the network such that a sub network is formed among the larger lan then this concept comes up of virtual lan so all these uh, points are important for you to remember when you are describing a local area network the most important point is the range of communication and the distance that is traversed or the distance in which a local area network can be set up more than 1 km if a network expands it will become a metropolitan area network okay then you also need to know the two standards for wireless lan which is known as wifi which is ieee802.11 and ethernet which is wired lan and the standard for that is ieee802.3 okay so uh, these are the important points for local area network and personal area networks i hope you have understood both these types of networks in the next video we will be studying about metropolitan area networks and wide area networks thank you for watching till we meet in the next video mind your exam